This is a drop of water from my kitchen sponge. I haven't used it for probably uh, five hours. This big ring here, I think, is a bubble. Okay, now I'm going to um, I'll pause this. I'll make a new slide. I want to rinse it, just simply rinse it out. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, so this is still a 40 times objective, and I rinsed it out. I rinsed it out four times. I got it wet and squeezed it four times. Now I'm going to pause it, and um, I'll go back and I'll put some uh, soap on it. <clears throat> okay, I um, put about half a teaspoon of soap on uh, the kitchen sponge and I worked it in a little bit and then rinsed it out, oh, I don't know, four or five times. And then I put a drop of water from it onto the slide. So there's still quite a bit of bacteria. Um, hang on, I'll go tell you if that's an antibacterial soap. <clears throat> Turns out it's not a bac. It's not doesn't have antibacterial in it. It's just palm olive green dish soap. But what I've discovered is just rinsing things off afterwards with water eliminates most all of the bacteria. I mean, when I clean my slides, I've gone back and looked at my slides and I don't and I, I'll put some water on it after after I clean it and I do not see any bacteria. So I guess the idea of scrubbing with a sponge is uh, maybe it just gets off the big stuff and breaks the grease and but it's the rinsing that really takes care of the bacteria. I'm going to try to focus that in a little better. Yeah, there's quite a few bacteria in that. <clears throat> 